Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to upgrade the M.2 drive on your Dell desktop computer. So let's take a look at the back of the model, at least to identify we are the same desktop here that we are trying to upgrade to. So if you look at the back of your computer, it's Inspiron 3910, or the model number is D32M by flipping upside down at the back of your desktop here. So Dell model D32M. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you like to do is to lay the computer down here, lay it flat. If you take a look here, the motherboard should be at the bottom of your desk so that the sliding panel on the left or the right can go to the left when you slide it out. All right, so get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. Unscrew the two screws here, the black screws. They do not come out. You just got to disconnect or loosen up the screw. At this point, slide the panel to your left and lift it straight up. Once you have removed the side panel, here you can see the entire desktop. And going directly, this is your M.2 drive. This is the mini one, which is, which is the shorter size. Uh, usually M.2, they are in a full size like this. Okay, so I'll show you to you how to separate, no sorry, how to exchange or upgrade your M.2 drive so that you have a larger capacity. Now this computer here does come with a 3.5 inch, one terabyte regular spinning drive. You can change that out to a to a regular uh, 2.5 SSD drive as you wish. All right, so the next step you like to do is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. We are going to unscrew that one screw here. All right, once you have removed the tiny screw, slide your original, you got to lift it up at about 45 degree angle like this and slide it to your left to remove. This little black thing, the thick thing here, is actually a thermal pad. So if you take a look at the thermal pads, what they do is they just stack it up. I think one, two, three, four. So they have a four stacks of the thermal pad to make it thick. Okay, so that is a thermal pad. Now the question is that if you want to upgrade to a larger capacity, assuming that this is the one terabyte M.2 drive. If you want to upgrade the one terabyte M.2, however, it is a full size compared to the original, which is a mini ones. What you're gonna do is, you want to move this bracket down towards to this size. Get a Phillips screwdriver, unscrew. Okay, while well, the screw is still on it, move it down to the further left okay now what you can do is make sure that the thermal pad is still back installed at the very front here and go ahead and slide the one terabyte or the larger m.2 into your computer at 45 degree angle slide it down to your right and then push it all the way down there make sure it's sitting flush remember that one tiny screw here go ahead and lock it in all right so there you have it you just exchange or no sorry you just install a brand new a larger m.2 drive now what i wanted to point it out to you is the computer would not boot to windows because the operating system your data everything is in this original M.2 drive. So what you need to do is you have two options. One is to clone, meaning cloning over the M.2 drive. The old original M.2 drive, you can clone it over to the new one. Okay, so when I say clone, meaning that you make the thing identical by moving everything over from this to that. Okay, now I make a separate video for you showing you how to clone an M.2 to the new one. 
I'll link in I'll link them in the description below go check out the description um, it would direct you to my other video for how to clone the M.2 drive that is option one option number two is you can disregard about cloning assuming that you already have the backup and you're planning to do a fresh install meaning that start everything brand new so you can go ahead and buy yourself the Windows 10 or Windows 11 a USB bootable disk you can buy that from either Amazon or eBay what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below you can go ahead and check it out um, or you can go to Microsoft website and create yourself a USB bootable disk with the USB bootable disk what you want to do is you want to open up the package and then fresh install everything new to your new drive you can do that for option number two so it is your choice and I just want to share that with you all right and if you find this video is helpful please give me a like and subscribe and if you have any question regarding about this model here the Dell 3910 uh, comment below I do reach a comment and I'll try to answer and help you through the comments okay and um, subscribe like the video and thanks for watching bye now